Jack, you join us halfway through the second eliminator of the week. Bradley, Cecil and Scott are aiming to become our champion tonight. Let's find out who it's going to be. Let's play some games. Okay, Dave, we've got to prize one of these guys out of the ring. How are we going to do it? Well, one of our competitors can now end up eating dirt on Earthworm Jim on the Super Nintendo. What they have to do is ride a space rocket through a time warp tunnel in the anti asteroid section of the game, collecting as many air bubbles as they go along. The air bubbles are blue spheres. The people with the most air bubbles will be going through. The person with the least air bubbles will find out that in the pit, no one can hear you scream. There you go. It's as simple as that. Who we got up first? Let me see. There's Bradley. Oh, rocking and rolling and ready to go. You've got to set the mark. You've got 40 seconds. Let's do it. OK, Bradley goes racing off, instantly used his turbo button. That's the air bubbles he's got to collect. The number of air bubbles that have been collected are in the top left-hand corner of the screen. But you don't hit the asteroids because you've only got 40 seconds. And hitting those asteroids slow you down. Way up ahead of Earthworm Jim, you'll notice Psychro. That sphere he just picked up with the electricity around it. That's a shield that he can activate. He's got it moving now. That stops him from losing energy if he, sh if he should hit the asteroids. And of course stops him from dying. That's Psychro in front of Earthworm Jim. He's Earthworm's adversary. And it's not good to be up on him. Those blue spheres, they were, they were speed up icons. He could have done with those because they'd have pushed him through the later levels of the game. He's going to have trouble now because there aren't any more spheres. That's the end of his challenge. Only 19. Bradley, 19. Mm, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be good enough? No, he doesn't think it is. I don't... I don't think it is. It's a very low score. I think Bradley could be going out now. So don't come in clusters, though. You've really got to pick these guys off one You really have. Time. They're all over the place. You've got to swing left and right. You've got to avoid the asteroids. But what Bradley didn't get was he didn't get the uh, speed-up icons, which would have got him to the later levels where there are more air bubbles. OK, Cecil, 19. That's the mark. You get past that and you're through, OK? You've got 40 seconds and your time starts now. OK, so Cecil instantly used his rocket boosters. And there's an oxygen bubble, top left-hand corner of the screen, of course. That's where you'll see how many bubbles he's got. And at the moment, he's got three. There's a line of them. At the moment, he's used, by using his rocket boosters, he's keeping up with Psychro. Of course, it's important to go as fast as possible in a speed challenge, in a time challenge. But Psychro can get in the way. He can bump into you and give you all sorts of troubles. Psychro is, of course, Earthworm Jim's nemesis. That's a nice cluster of bubbles he's got, and those, those orange icons, those are the speed-up icons, they've got him through, because in a minute it's going to be a real barren patch. At the moment he's got 23 bubbles. That's going to be enough for him to go through, he knows he's through now, he wants the flavour points, because he can choose his character in the head-to-head, -head. 24 points, that's going to be good enough. Cecil, 24, OK, so you can go and sit down and relax, you know that you're through, all right? Uh, and Bradley's going to have to panic. So he, he got a little cluster there, didn't he? He got a little cluster, yeah. I think it's fairly random. And yeah. that, that, they came in a nice line there for Cecil, yeah, so he, he did he, well. His but line when, was right, he was... He but was... once again, he didn't use the speed-up icons. They're no. bottling it on those a little bit. OK, Scott, here's the situation. You beat Bradley's score of 19 and you're through. But the score you need to aim for is Cecil's 24, because don't forget, whoever wins this round chooses character in the head-to-head, -head, and that is incredibly important for you. So, best of luck, 40 seconds. Let's go. OK, and off Scott goes into the game. There's his first air bubble. Top left-hand corner of the screen. Scott now has three bubbles. He's hit an asteroid. That's not good. That's going to slow him down. All the guys have chose to be fairly cagey so far. They've just so sorted along at a fairly even pace, not using the speed-up icons. They just picked up the bubbles that are along the way. This is quite calculated. I think they must know roughly how many bubbles they're going to get, but I would like to see someone use the speed-up icons. I really hair through the level. Give us something really exciting to watch. That's a nice cluster of bubbles there. Once again, he's missed, he's missed the speed-up icons. He's got 17. He's already through. He's through now with 21 bubbles to the next round. But has he got enough to choose his character? I don't think so. So in black, Bradley did very badly and with 19 points has launched himself into gaming obscurity. Bradley, what happened there? My hand's too cold. Your hand's too cold? Yeah. You need to get them warmed up. up. Yeah, of course you do. Well, Brad, it's been great having you on here. Just a little thing we find out about everyone. Uh, you have a problem at school with your spelling, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Try this one. L-O-S-E-R. Gentlemen, take him away! Yeah!